we are going to look at airports amusement park and zoos of south africa so today's co pilot is indrani and co pilot is pandana so let's go and see south africa indrani over to you thank you pandana hello good evening everyone as pandana already told that we are going to visit south africa so here is an introduction about this country that south africa is one of the most geographically varied countries on the african continent comprising territory that ranges from the rolling fertile plains of high belt and the wide open savanna of mapumalanga to the kalahari desert and the peaks of drakensberg mountains as you know that south africa is very famous for its mountains and renowned for its wildlife reserves so the two of world's most renowned wildlife reserves in south africa are kruger and kalag kalagadi kalagadi trans frontier park the country contains over a dozen smaller regional parks and reserves with its excellent road and rail system its abundance of top rated accommodation and its bountiful farmlands vineyards princeton beaches south africa truly offers a world in one country do you know that uh, south africa is having three capitals can you name them ma'am cape town yes ma'am cape town pretoria yes. yeah and and bloem forte ah, yes bloem forte now so it is having three capitals first one is cape town then pretoria and bloem forte now now here comes the flag of south africa so it comprises of six colors black represents people of this nation gold as you know that south africa is having gold mines so golden color represents that green color represents the fertility of the south african lands red stands for hardiness and valor do you know what does white stands so white yes is it peace ah yes white stands for peace and blue stands for justice so here is the pictorial representation of south africa like this is south african peoples leopards lions and this is yellow wood tree which is the national tree of south africa now we will see airports in south africa first one is otambo international airport otambo international airport is an international airport which is situated in cape town park gauteng south africa it serves as the primary airport for domestic and international travel to from south africa and it's africa's busiest airport with a capacity to handle up to 28 million passenger annually the airport serves as the hub for south african airways the airport handled over 21 million passengers in 2017 here you can see the picture of this otambo international airport it is actually looking very busy cape town international airport so next one is cape town international airport serving the city of cape town and is the second busiest airport in south africa and fourth busiest in africa and located approximately 20 kilometers 12 miles from the city center the airport was opened in 1954 to replace cape town's previous airport winfield aerodrome Cape Town International Airport is the only airport in Cape Town metropolitan area that offers scheduled passenger services. The airport has domestic and international terminals linked by a common central terminal. Here you can see the picture of Cape Town International Airport. 
next one is george in airport so george airport is an airport located in george western cape south africa it it was formerly known as p w botha airport named after the state president who lived in this part of the country this airport was originally built in 1977 as an exact replica of kitam show airport in namibia but since its expansion and renovation it new look completely different george airport has won the award for africa's best airport in the category under 2 million passenger per year six times the last time 2017 the award is given by airport council international aci here you can see the picture of george airport Next one is Lanseria Airport (HLA). Lanseria International Airport is a privately owned international airport which is situated north of Randburg and Sandton, to the northwest of Johannesburg. So Johannesburg is the largest city of South Africa. the airport can handle aircraft up to size of boeing 757 to 300 it is located within in the boundaries of the city johannesburg metropolitan municipality as century one and petrio pretoria it entrance is on the r512 road which goes south to randburg and north to hard had be sport dam here you can see the picture of lanseria international airport and this is the logo of this lanseria international airport now we will see some videos on airport ma'am why were there some snowflakes we will see amusement parks in south africa so first one is ushaka marine world durban kwazulu natal so it is opened in 2004 ushakin marine world is a 16 hectare aquarium theme park situated in the sunny city of durban this family oriented entertainment complex boasts the fifth largest aquarium in the world along with a water park award winning dolphins and seal shows the recreational of a wreck of a 1920 cargo ship and an array of shopping facilities and eateries can you name this yes sharks stingray dolphin sharks yes. and stingray dolphin shark and stingrays yes Now the next one is Gold Reef City, Johannesburg, Gauteng, located on an old gold mine in the heart of Johannesburg. Gold Reef City is the theme around the gold rush, which began in the White Witwatersrand in eighteen hundred and eighty-six. The theme. This is a theme park. Is home to some of the most thrilling rides in the south. and hemisphere and offers an abundance of adventure for families to enjoy here you can see some picture of this rides actually they are looking very scary so now next is wild waves water park situated just 90 km from the Dur Durban the wild waves water park at the wild coast sun in port edward has water rides that will excite all ages from tiny tots just getting their toes in the water or an adventure seeking adrenaline junkie this water park is guaranteed to get your pulse racing so here you see some picture of this wild waves water park that's beautiful yeah that's beautiful now next is sun city sun city is a popular resort that is situated in south africa people often choose it as their best vacation destination as they are well maintained and have things to offer their valley of waves water park has several rides to offer 
it is totally family friendly and the children actually get their designated play area along with this they also have the maze of lost city which will be loved by adults who like to play games they do have an extensive golf course in this area so here you see the picture of sun city look how they are enjoying like its name it it looks very sunny also yes it looks very sunny now we will see some videos on this part especially music so now we will see <laughs> So do you like that videos? Yes. Nobody liked it. Ma'am, it was nice. Yeah. Also, the background music was also very good, na? So now we will see zoos in South Africa. So first, ma'am. Yes. Yes, Abir. Zoos are my favorite out of all this. Okay, so national. So first one is National Geological Garden of South Africa. So it is the largest zoo in the country, more widely known as Pretoria Zoo. The National Geological Garden in Boom Street is not only the largest zoo in South Africa and the one. only one with national statues but is also rated as one of the top zoos in the world the 85 hectare zoo in pretoria houses 3117 specimens of 209 mammal species 1358 specimens of 202 bird species 3871 specimen of 190 fish species 388 specimens of four but invertebrate species 309 specimens of 93 reptile species and 44 specimens of seven amphibian species now it's literally so that's huge. a lot of animals so here you see the picture of this national zoological park will show you videos now next is lorry park lorry park is proud to have an ethical fun interactive program at the zoo memorable once in lifetime moments can be captured here education has always been the forefront of what we do at lorry park zoo educating schools the community and the adults in a variety of ways conservation plays a major role in what modern zoos do species preservation program breeding facilities for endangered animal and so much more happens in zoo join us on their journey of conservation join them on their journey of conservation ma'am so here can you name this yes ma'am is that the logo of lorry park yeah lorry park animal and owl sanctuary so these animals are very known to us right can you name them is the last one a cat and a leopard mix yeah it's <laughs> leopard it's baby leopard ma'am it's leopard yeah it's baby leopard that it's that's why it like looks like a cat yeah it's that's a bob cat it's like a cat with leopard prints it's a bob cat <laughs> okay so now the most <laughs> interesting part is hippo jessica Jessica is a hippo with a phenomenal story of touching people's heart. She was found very young in an emaciated state along the bank of Bairi River in South Africa and taken in and rehabilitated by the Tony and Shirley Jobert. 
since her rescue in 2000 jessica grew from strength to strength and today interacts with wild hippos in the river as well as jobert family and their dogs never wanting to miss her treat time so here you meet with hippo jessica her name is jessica so now we will see videos on zoom Jessica is a friendly hippo. Yes, she is so friendly. She is so friendly. So anybody wants to share anything with us? Do you like our today's tour? Ma'am, what country are we visiting tomorrow? You are always excited for every day, and every day asked what we are going to visit tomorrow. <laughs> so tomorrow we are going to visit Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. Keep some fact ready with you. Okay, search about this country. and keep some fact ready with you okay abhi fine okay so did you like our today's tour yes it was yes. very interesting na especially jessica okay oh dogs hippo they rescued her yeah i'm like they keep her name in her yeah, in their house and right? i'm like who yeah. who keeps them in their so house kind. they are so kind like they rescued her it's kind And of she's strange we had they that's why like jessica good. was also kind to them yes they have a very good heart very big heart that's why they rescued her and even she sleep with that dog she is very friendly strange <laughs> yes so i hope you all have enjoyed our today's tour so we will meet you tomorrow Bye mom bye take care